This podcast is submitted as an assessment for a sports science outdoor activities degree at Bangor University. This is for those who hold their SPA and wish to further their problem solving skills. What happens when it all goes wrong? There are situations such as you've made the mistake of putting a climb on a ledge, or the climber getting their limb stuck, or even the climber gripped on the face and you just can't get them off no matter what. This situation, unfortunately, needs you to go and rescue the climber in need of your help. Okay, Charlotte, just stay calm. We'll come and get you. First thing I'm going to do is tie off the VLA plate so I can have safe use of both my hands. I'm going to use a 2 meter crusset glue as this will give me the correct amount of reach for this technique. I'm going to tie the loop on using the knot known as the ordinary crusset as there is little chance of releasing it without meaning to. As you can see, I've connected the loop coming down from the knot onto my BLA loop with a screw gate carabiner. Now I'm going to just untie the BLA plate. Now all that's left for me to do is to ascend the rope. The technique that I am using to ascend the rope comes in three stages. The first is placing my foot on the permanent foothold and standing up on the foothold. The second is as I am standing up, pulling the rope through the belay device and locking it off. Finally, pushing up the prusik on the rope to back up the belay device and repeat the process until I have reached the stuck climber. Before starting off, I connected a sling to my belay loop using the lark's foot knot and the other end is a screw gate carabiner which will make the rescue more efficient. You could also use a quick draw in place of a sling. I'm going to attach the climber to me using a sling and a screw gate carabiner attached to their beer lay loop. This way it will enable me to safely take them down. When reversing back down the rope, the ordinary Prusik knot has a tendency to jam and a French Prusik may be favourable as this can be released under load. However, the ordinary Prusik has been described as useful as the top Prusik when ascending a rope by Libby Peters in 2004 in the Mountain Leader's Handbook Rock climbing essentials and advice would be to keep to the ordinary prusik making sure you have control of the speed of descent and a close eye on the prusik ensuring the prusik does not become under tension as it can be difficult to release and could result in you having to struggle to take your weight off the prusik This technique is to be used at your discretion and as a possible last resort. Please remember that the single pitch award is based on prevention rather than rescue and you must remember the remit of this award and do not step into the Mountain Instructors Award territory as liability will fall on you. Be safe and know your limitations. Listen
miss the crowd.